Welcome back. Parents, teachers, and other educators are bringing awareness to literacy rates among our kids. And now, a new analysis by our partners at Investigative Post has found the reading skills of students at Buffalo's charter schools are better than those attending urban public schools. Garrett Looker joins me now in studio to share more about what he learned for the story that was just published today. And when we say that students at charter schools are reading better, than those in the public schools, what does that really mean? Well, it means that if you look at the grades three, four, and five among the uh, area's charter schools, those kids are outperforming their peers in public districts just by a bit. And by a bit, I mean 30% at charter schools, 25% here in Buffalo, and 19% in Niagara Falls. Interesting, so let's look at the charter schools and think about uh, some of the other schools, public schools in Western New York, but in the suburbs and in the rural areas, how do they compare? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, in Western New York, there are 99 school districts and the average for those kids that are in three, four and five is 39%. So charters here locally are outperforming the local urban public districts, but region wide, they are lagging behind. And what do you think is behind that? Could you find anything from the data? Yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, affect reading scores and literacy rates, um, and it doesn't really matter if it's charter or if it's public. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that are affecting it, and primarily it's socioeconomics. I've been told by multiple education experts that the number one indicator for an educational outcome is income in the household. And that's why they also encourage reading at a very early age. When you look at those uh, students who are actually struggling, um, there has to be some type of pattern that's consistent. What is that? Well, actually, uh, it's tough to nail down a pattern because we're seeing it everywhere. We see it in urban settings, we see it in rural settings, and we see it in suburban settings. Um, and this analysis really wanted to look closer at the uh, 12,000 or so students that aren't in Buffalo Public Schools. They're in, you know, those charter schools that are trying to get um, a different option for their educational futures. Um, but when you look at those literacy rates, they're very similar to the other districts that are close by. That's very interesting. Now, when we think about the scores, um, you have these reading scores from rural, urban, suburban, charter schools. What does this really mean for that student as they're progressing? Of course, yeah. Um, you know, reading by the third grade, experts tell me that if you can't, read at grade level by the third grade, your future is going to look a lot different than students that can. You're looking at um, struggling graduation rates, mm -hmm. uh, future incomes that are much lower. Uh, you know, it's, some people say reading is the biggest indicator for success. quality of life and success yeah. as you grow up. Yeah, you're right about that. If you cannot read by third grade, really you're gonna be struggling by the time you get to eighth grade. Yeah. And that's something. What else are you going to be looking at next? Well, I'd love to look at, you know, those effects as, as a student grows up. Um, but I'd also love to look at how students are trying to climb that hill mm -hmm. because you do see successes. Um, specifically, this analysis showed that even though a lot of charters are struggling just as their public peers, uh, there are some that are shining bright, such as West, Bu West Buffalo Charter, mm -hmm. which uh, achieved 52% of their third, fourth, and fifth graders reading at grade level. So there are those success stories, and I think that's really important to note. Was that the shining light when it comes to schools that really stood out to you, West Buffalo Charter? Yes, West, West Buffalo, um, and I reached out to their school leader, uh, Andrea Todaro, and uh, tried to get a sense of what's happening there. Um, and I was told that it's an inclusive, tight-knit mm -hmm. community with a supportive atmosphere. Um, and that's not, we, we see that in public schools as well, uh, but it seems that something special is happening in a place like West Buffalo. And resources make a world of a difference. We wanna thank you so much, this is Garrett Looker from our partners at Investigative Post. Thanks so much for coming in today to talk about this on the 530.